Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, we're going to be installing a new Alpha card that is the Alpha AWUS036 ACH. It's a tongue twister, but it's this adapter right here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is what we're going to be installing today. And I have the adapter right here. So the physical adapter is right here. It's going to be sitting on my desk until we're ready to plug it in into my laptop so we can use Airmon NG and use these kind of tools in order to get this working and cooperating. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Watch till the end so you don't miss anything. And please like, subscribe, share. And if you're returning, welcome back and let's have some fun, right? This is what, this is what it's all about. All right, so I'm on my Kali machine right here. Before we actually plug in the adapter, and if you plug in the adapter, it may not show up because this adapter doesn't have default drivers, right? So you plug it in, sometimes like in Parrot OS, it's plug and play and you get lucky. Not so much with Kali. And I'm running Kali 2022.4, so I'm up to the latest and greatest. I did all the updates, upgrades, and all that good stuff. But I wanna walk you through how to do it, step by step, all right? So, First, you can pop open your command prompt. And once you have your command prompt, you can do a command called LSUSB. So LSUSB. So if you plug it in, this is if you have the uh, adapter plugged in and you don't see the Realtek driver, continue following along and we'll get this up and running. So let's clear that out. And if you do an IP, if config, sorry, if config, and you don't see a WLAN zero, or if you do IW config, you're not gonna have it up and running because it's not installed yet. I just wanted to throw these commands out there just in case you can try this out and see if it works, right? I'm sure if it did work, you wouldn't be watching this video. So, so yeah, so the first command is app get update. So apt get update. So you run this and it's gonna do all your updates to all your repositories and all that stuff. I'm already up to date, so I'm good to go. So the next one is upgrade. So we can do an upgrade. I'm pretty much up to date, upgraded and all that good stuff. So the last one, let's do a control L to bring it up to the top. So the next one we can do APT and then we can get, oops, distro dash Y. And I'm all up to date with my distro and everything like that. So the last one, what you can do is install the driver. So what we're gonna do is apt install realtek. So right here is the command, realtek-rtl88xx, A as an Apple, U as an university, dash DKMS. Once you install this, obviously I already have mine installed, so I'm good to go. So sometimes you have to reboot the VM or be, reboot your machine in order to make this work. Let's see if this is the case with me. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see what's going on. And I am using VMware Workstation, so this is what I'm using, so let's see. All right, so we're gonna pop this. We're gonna go pop that in, and we can go to Control. Let's do an LS USB real quick. So it's not showing up. So if it's, still not, if it's still not showing up, there is a few steps you have to do. So let me go ahead and maxim, or minimize that or shrink it or whatever you wanna call it. So what we need to do is right click on our VM. If you're running VMware Workstation, obviously, and removable disks and my Realtek right here, we're gonna go ahead and connect and disconnect from the host. Cause right now it's connected to my local machine. But I don't want that. I want it to connect to my VM. So let's go ahead and make this bigger. So now let's go ahead and run that. And here we go, bada bing. We're good. The, re the Realtek USB is connected and it's recognized, right? So what we can do now is do an IW config. And now we can see that WLAN zero is present and it's in manage mode. You probably got this device, so you can put it into monitor mode, scan for networks, do Wi-Fi pen testing, and all that good stuff. And the beauty of this, it, you can 
run it on 2.4 gigahertz, and you can also run it on networks that run five gigahertz. So a lot of the, like my other cards, only support 2.4 gigahertz. This is what, this card is a beauty because you can support both, all right? So I'm not gonna go into any like Wi-Fi pen testing in this video, but what we can do is check and see if we can get this into monitor mode. So we can run Aramon NG. Let's go ahead and Aramon NG. So we can see the uh, WLAN zero is present, right? So now what we need to do is actually, <coughs> excuse me, we can start. So we can do start and then the interface, right? So WLAN zero. Now what we can do is, let's do control. There's a thing that I run, I always do check kill. So what I can do is Aramon NG, check kill. This will go ahead and kill any processes or anything like that and make sure it's all good to go. All right, so pretty much now what we can do is air dump. Let's go ahead and do this. And air dump NG, air dump dash NG, air dump. Oh, arrow, man, arrow dump, dump. NG, and then we have to identify the, the interface, right? WLAN zero. And now we can make sure it's running. So obviously we can do control C because I don't want to have this run. And we can do the IW config really quick. And we can see that it's in monitor mode. So it's ready to monitor, hear some traffic and all that good stuff. So that's it. That concludes this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave it in the comments below. If you have any trouble, Please follow these steps. Make sure you, when you plug it into your VMware or into your machine in VMware, make sure you connect it to your VM and disconnect from your local host. That's a common problem that it will never show up if it's not recognized in your virtual machine. So just double check that and hopefully you should be good. So if you have any questions, let me know. And like, again, please like, subscribe, share, hit the bell and all that stuff, hack the algorithm of YouTube. And let's keep growing this channel in 2023. So thank you so much and have an awesome day.